Tony? Extra. <laughs> Okay, so the first time I met Tony was at ADT auditions. I was like, yo, that dude is good. And then at that point, I didn't know Redonculus existed. Then after auditions, he came up to me and he was like, hey, what's your name? And he was like super friendly and happy. And he was like, you should audition for Redonculus. And I was like, okay. And I'm just like pretty grateful for him for like introducing me to this movie. Um, sad boy. <laughs> My first impression with him was I was in an ADT dance with him. I think it was when I shoot these like 17 dances. And honestly, we didn't really talk that much. I just saw him dance and I was like, who the hell is this guy? But I was in his dance and I was like, oh, I kind of like how he's like kind of fusy. Kind of reminds me of myself. Because he's kind of derpy, I guess, maybe on the outside. I don't know, it's my impression. And But he has emotions on the inside and I resonate with that. Yeah! I'm glad that Tony's my grand big. I'm glad we got to choreo together. I thought that was a really fun time. Uh, I think our styles are maybe sort of kind of similar, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna miss Tony because he gives me piggyback rides before rehearsal and those are fun. The way that he talks about dance, it like, it like you would never know that he had only started dancing recently. And um, he has like a very high level of critique when he's talking about our movement. Uh, and I think that bringing that to the team, especially as a captain, is super important. Tony? Asian. <laughs> Korean. <laughs> Sad boy. Dumb. Tony. Furry. <laughs> Furry. Furry. Extra. Extra. Rextra. Just energy. Rex is a lot, <laughs> but I love him. When I first found out that he was my big, I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> and I just thought it was really funny because like, I felt like we didn't have anything in common. And I still feel like we don't have that much in common, but I think like we get along really well. He takes care of me like a lot. I appreciate that, yeah. Rex and I um, met through Doc Collabo and we basically had a really good time with like a bunch of other people um, that I now also know super well in dance. We would, I remember during Prod Week, we would always like hype each other up and just like do crazy stupid shit together because he's just that kind of person that you like can have a really good time with. Rex gives literally like everything, you know, that he has to like dance and stuff and he always like puts in a ton of work without ever complaining. Um, and it just like makes me admire him even more, uh, and I really appreciate that about him. So yeah, I'm gonna really miss you, Rex. I was really glad Rex was on the team because there was another black person on the dog. <laughs> but also he's just really cool because he's just like so unapologetically himself, and he's just like really great, and he's like always like there for you, and like in such subtle ways, he just like be there and like like be lit with you when you like need someone to hang out with. Yeah, so I really miss that. Ratchet. Lit. Gym dad. <laughs> Rex. Cute. Three to four sentences on Megan Ty. Oh, uh, her bed is soft. Uh. Uh, so when I first met Megan, my impression of her was that she was really clueless. And I remember the Springfest food trucks. We spent like an hour there just switching between the two lines. Yeah, first impression was, oh, she's a girl who doesn't have a tooth. But first impression on Donk was, oh, she has a tooth now. So that like come <laughs> through my mind. <laughs> um, well, Megan got like two or three servings of the tacos, and then we got two waffles, and it was great because we got a free meal just from swimming between the lines. Um, I don't know, she's always been really nice to me, uh, and she's a really sweet person. I also thought it was just kind of funny how they chose. Megan to be my partner in like couples dance because she was the only person on the team that was shorter than me. So Do you want to say something nice about her brand? <laughs> she has 
she has a very nice personality. Okay, so. <laughs> Cute. Soccer mom. Asian mom. Mm. She's like a little mochi. <laughs> Sweet. Megan? Cute! She's so cute. She's always like welcoming when I first joined the team and even today, just now, I just choreographed with Lily. It's gonna be our first workshop on Monday so I'm really excited and she's been very nice about the choreographing part so I'm very thankful for her and I'm gonna miss her. Lily? Okay. I like really looked up to Lily before we even became friends or like she became my big and so I really wanted to be in her DT dance because I was like wow that girl's like really cool I want to dance like her and then I got into her dance and then tent parties we just like partied the whole night and then she was like you should audition for Donk and I like never thought about it and she kept uh, being like you should audition for Donk you should audition for Donk and I think like, she finally convinced me to audition for Donk. I owe it all to her, and, um, uh, and, like, I don't know. I just think I've, like, grown so much from observing her dance and, like, learning how she dances and trying to incorporate that in my dance style. And I, last year's semester feedback form, someone was like, you dance like Lily, and I was like, yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm just gonna miss her, cause she's my big. Not only is she like a super talented dancer, so I respect her a lot, um, but she's just a great person to work with because she's super calm, she has like great ideas, she always manages to put everything together, but at the same time she's like, she's just like really sweet and really chill about everything. So I don't know, we're gonna miss that on the team. Aww. We need more chill people. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. Cute. Sweet. Little angel. Mom. <laughs> sweet. Margaret. Perfect. Yeah, I remember when I first met German, when German said he never spoke a word until he was five years old, that didn't surprise me at all because he was, I didn't talk to him for the longest time. Uh, and now I'm like so glad that we're good friends because he's just like, he's a nice person to just sit in Stato or Steam Cafe and do work with for a long time. And I think that he brings a really important leadership to the team as well. First impression of German was, wow, this dude is like a pretty good dancer, but he always wears flannels for some reason. And this was an N7 dance. Second impression was, this bitch literally is leaving Donk just as I joined. What an asshole. And the third impression was, oh wow, we're gonna be captains together. That's crazy. Um, pretty glad that he did all the work though. I was kind of just chilling in the background while Germs did all the heavy lifting. Um, and summer was interesting um, because he just slept on an unfolded futon. So it was basically sleeping on half a couch because that shit was small as fuck. And he was fine sitting in the corner. But yeah, overall, <sighs> I'm gonna miss him. And this bitch better come back and drink. German's really funny in that you can have this relationship. You like play fight with him. Like you're like not friends, but you're like actually friends. Also, his bed's really soft, so. <laughs> German? Lily. <laughs> So I first met Camilo when I did Don Calabo and I just remember him being super like friendly and like not afraid to talk to underclassmen so I was like wow he's so nice. Now he just roasts me constantly so yeah that turned around really quickly um, but I think he's actually like a really really creative person and I really admire how he has a lot of ideas um, and 
always like problem solves really well when like things are going wrong. I just think he's super smart. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him like calling me lightning blue every day and just like roasting the shit out of me. Uh, Camilla was like a person that takes a lot of getting used to, I think. Um, so, <laughs> and like being on a team with him is so interesting because he's both like so loud and like so distracting, but also at the same time, he like really gets shit done and he cares a lot about the team. He's basically like daddy donk in like uh, both a serious way and also a nasty <laughs> ew Camilla way. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss him though. <laughs> He's uh, very extra. He um, annoys me a lot, <laughs> but I also love him, so it's okay. My first thought was, this guy likes to make a lot of choreo and dynamics and he's super freaking extra. But somehow it all came together and looked really good and I was like, wow, how the hell did that happen? But I feel like you have like a very distinct style and I can always tell when it's like you. Um, but it always ends up looking really good. Uh, I really respect that. Oh, also I was his grader for a class, so he did okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, Daddy. <laughs> Extra. Uh, feels. A lot. <laughs> Pet. 